blood is not something I like to see. No, my, not my mother's blood. An emotional Rachel McNeil took the stand in her father's murder trial, giving very damaging testimony. Do you uh, recognize this man sitting right here? Yes. Who is he? He's my father. Growing up, my father is my best friend. In front of a hushed and packed courtroom, she recounted the fateful call she received from her father the day her mother died. It was my father's voice. Um, he said, Rachel, quick, get to, the, get to the hospital. It's your mother. Quick. I said, what's, what's happening? Is everything okay? And he just said, Rachel, come home. Prosecutors say all the drama was a ruse. McNeil had planned his wife's murder all along. The motive? He was carrying on an affair with Gypsy Willis, who moved into the McNeil home as a nanny shortly after the death of his wife, Michelle. It just was obvious that she's, she's just goo eyes at my dad and wasn't doing anything a nanny would do. McNeil, they say, was so determined to move forward with his murder plot that he forced his wife to have a facelift so he could kill her with a mix of drugs and blame it on the surgery. Rachel testified he was adamant there be an autopsy. He specifically said to me that he was concerned that there be a police investigation, that he didn't want it to anyone to think that he murdered my mother. I said, why? Why would anybody think that? Avoiding any eye contact with her father, she often struggled to hold back tears. She described how her father said he found Michelle in the bathtub and how she found her mother's clothes later that day. It was a big bloody mess. It was just all, all of these things were just thrown in the garage. On the day of her mother's funeral, she said her dad wasn't mourning his wife's death. In fact, he seemed to be relieved. He was making jokes about being single and just laughing, and it made me sick. I've left. Now, on cross-examination, the defense countered that by getting Rachel to admit that on that very day of the funeral in the morning, she was helping her father dress, and he was distraught, he was depressed, he was crying, he was staring into space saying, your mother is my rock. Now, Rachel also admitted that she has been diagnosed with mental illness. Separately, she said she has bipolar situation. And when presented with an emergency room medical report from August of 2012, which stated that she came to emergency because of delusions.